Today we have a $10 budget challenge where we went on various buying sites such as tcgplayer.com, eBay, Facebook Marketplace to find Pokemon cards with our $10 budget to add to our collection or even to flip for a profit. Today we'll be giving away one of the four cards you see in this video. Just let me know down below in the comments what your favorite card is from today's video. And if you win, I'll send that card to you completely free of charge. Let's go ahead and get into the cards. The first card we picked up, I bought this Beautifly card off of eBay for $2.89. This Beautifly holographic card comes from EX, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. One of the, the original e-reader set all the way back from 2003. Very, very nice card. Look at all those beautifuls in the background there. There's four total inside of that picture. You got one right there, one right there, and one hiding down there in the corner. Very, very nice holographic card. If you were to try and pick up a pack of EX Fire Red and Leaf Green right now, you would be spending over $400 for one pack. And if you pulled this card from it, you would have to actually be happy because that would be considered a heavy pack with a holographic on the inside. Very, very nice card. This was before they added the actual e-reader code to the bottom of these cards so you could scan them in on the Game Boy Advance games. Very beautiful card. I would put a value on this specific card right around $8 or so. There's actually a very, very low population of these that have been graded. PSA 10 population is only 11. Last sold copy was $250, but that was over a year ago. There's just not been a lot of these on the market. There's a PSA 9 population of around 50 or so. So it does have a little bit higher of a PSA 9 population. Those sell for right around $90. But again, it's been so long since one of those was actually sold that the actual sales data doesn't really apply to today's uh, values. One of the coolest cards from this set of four cards we have in today's video is probably my second favorite card. This one here at the end is probably my favorite. You'll have to check that one out. Watch to the end to see that one. If you were to pick up, like I said, a pack of this, it'd be $400. A booster box of EX Fire Red and Leaf Green sells for over $20,000. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. No scratching on the hollow or anything like that. I, I would consider grading this card. If it came back at PSA 9, I would be super excited. But that's about as high as I could see that one going. The next card on our list, we have the Greninja Break. To be honest, Greninja cards are undervalued in my opinion. And Break cards are also very, very undervalued. I cannot believe that I was able to pick up this Greninja Break card for $3. This is easily one of the best Greninja cards that I can ever remember. And there's a lot of good Greninja cards. People just don't like the landscape style of the Break cards, I guess. But this is definitely one of the top three. I would say that the Ho-Oh and Lugia are better. Maybe even the Raichu. But after that, this would be you know the next best Break card. It does come from XY Breakpoint. You can pick up packs of XY Breakpoint for between $9 and $10, so they're not crazy, crazy expensive. But this is just a really cool card. These are actually really, really hard to grade as well. The print run quality for XY era stuff was pretty low. They just printed so much of it that the quality just ended up being really, really bad. This card is probably a pack fresh card, but even that doesn't mean that it's a good card. As you can see there, it does have a little bit of chipping. Let me see if I can get that into focus. <laughs> but as you can see, the edging has chips on it. And those chips are probably straight out of the pack just because of the low quality print run. This card is undervalued in my opinion. I paid $3 for it. I would put a current value of it around $5. But I could easily see these Greninja cards, especially the Greninja Break cards, rising up in value fairly quickly. There's just not a lot of them that have been graded. And even the ones that do get graded... They're just so hard to get a good grade on. There's 11 PSA 10s of this card and 22 PSA 9s. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Current value right around $5, but I think that's going to go up very, very soon. The next card in today's video is the Lapras from Fossil Unlimited Edition. People think that like the Wizards of the Coast cards like, you know, Base Set or Jungle, Fossil, even some of the Neo series are just too expensive to even consider collecting. I paid $1.41 for this card, and obviously it's not in the best of condition. As you can see, pretty heavy scratching on the holographic right there. I did buy this in heavy played condition, and it is definitely heavy played. Check out all that back wear. But that's not really what we're concerned about. The fact that we could put this in a binder, and the front of this card looks really, really good, it makes it more valuable in my opinion. 
This would look really, really good just sliding it inside of a binder for your fossil collection. You could get a light to heavy played fossil collection for probably under $100 if you were to actually buy each individual card separately. So, I mean, really, Wizards of the Coast cards, the high-end stuff, the Gem Mint, PSA 10 stuff is very expensive because they're very, very rare. But, the you know, there's just so many played copies of this because basically everybody saved their cards. You know, everybody has a binder in their attic. Everybody's, you know, mom kept it in a shoebox for them. There's just so many of these out there that realistically, a dollar and forty-one cents for a Wizards of the Coast holographic isn't that crazy. So there's just so many of them, especially in the unlimited series, which was printed a little bit more than first edition. But how cool is this? This is one of the coolest cards from Fossil. Easily one of the coolest cards from Fossil. My favorite would probably be Articuno, and then this would probably be second. The PSA population on this is 41 in a 10. That's really, really low. For a card that's pushing 23 years old, and how many of these have been opened, that's a very, very low population on this card. There's a ton of PSA 9s, but honestly, PSA 9 and below gets inflated because people will send in their cards to get graded. And if it doesn't get a 10, they'll crack open the case and they'll send it back in trying to get a higher grade. So really, the PSA 9 and below population report numbers are not accurate. Very, very cool card. One of the coolest cards in the entire video for sure. Last time I checked, a pack of Unlimited Fossil was selling for between $150 and $170. And if you pulled that Lapras card out of there, you would be over the moon excited about it. Going into the next card, this is actually my favorite card from the entire video. We have the Holographic Miss Magus from Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. If you guys have never opened up Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed or just never, you know, heard of it, it is one of the coolest sets ever. It has the legendary cards where you have a top and a bottom piece that form one big picture with Suicune, Entei, and Raikou as the three uh, featured Pokemon in that. You also get prime cards like Steelix and Kingdra. I think Ursaring is also in Unleashed. Just an amazing set. A pack of Unleashed right now would set you back about $120. I think the lowest listing on eBay right now is $115.95 if you wanted a Wade pack <laughs> with no chance at getting a holographic or above inside. Anytime you get a loose pack off eBay, just automatically assume it's Wade. There's just honestly no chance that somebody's going to send that without weighing it first to see if it's got one of those legendary cards in it because those do weigh considerably more than the other cards, which makes them easy to find. This is just such a cool card. It has the Dunsparce back there, Psychic Energy coming around. I really like Psychic and Ghost types. This is just a really good looking card. And honestly, I paid $1.57 for this card. And I think I could resell it easily for about $7 to $8. It's in very, very good condition. No creases. No really heavy wear anywhere. It's just an overall very, very solid card. And my personal favorite card from this entire video. This card also has a very, very low uh, PSA population. There's 5 and a PSA 10. And there is 12 in a PSA 9. Honestly, it's probably just because it hasn't been graded a whole lot. But Heart Gold and Soul Silver in general is just very low population because they just didn't print as much of it as other sets. So in the long run, I think these type of cards are going to really, really hold their value. People wanting to complete sets or to get graded copies of this are going to have a very hard time just because they're so rare to get. That, you know, I'm picking up a lot of these single holographic cards because this was the highest rarity you could really get outside of those like legendary cards and prime cards. And these are way, way more sought after and valuable than the uh, holographics from today's boxes. Like if you have a holographic from Chilling Rain or Evolving Skies, it's like a 10 cent card if you're lucky. And there's almost no chance that the value on it's gonna increase substantially like ever. <laughs> but these are a little bit different. These were actually much more sought after. And the packs are getting so expensive. A booster box of Unleashed costs 5000 or more dollars right now. It's crazy. Sealed product premiums are crazy, but some of the stuff on the inside is going to rise up along with that, you know, high sealed cost premium because people do want to complete these sets. The hobby is growing every single day and these rare, less, you know, common cards are just going to increase in value over time because people just either A, they didn't care about them to begin with, or there's just, you know so few of them because they just weren't preserved like people preserve stuff today very very cool card my favorite card personally let me know what you guys think um, of these ten dollar budget challenge videos i know i've made probably 35 or more episodes of these i know a lot of people really like these videos but if you guys 
can think of a way to improve this or if you guys want me to increase the actual value maybe do like fifty dollars or a hundred dollar budget challenge for collection or flipping purposes let me know down in the comments make sure you let me know which one of these is your favorite as well like i said i will be sending uh, your favorite card completely free of charge to whoever wins i do appreciate you checking out this video and i'll see you in the next one